everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because I am about to go jump in the car and meet Kiralee Cosplay for the first time in person. So she and I have been friends now online for nearly three years I think at this point and she is actually coming here to Seattle. I'm about to go pick her up from the airport and we are going to spend the next four days together, Kiralee and her husband Terry and I, and I am so freaking excited. So let's go to the airport. All right, you guys, I have picked up Kiralee. I've actually picked her up yesterday. There was a whole day that I didn't film, but it's a new day and we are going to have some adventures. And here is Kiralee from Kiralee Cosplay. Good night, everyone. That is Terry, her husband. <laughs> yes. And we are going to go have some adventure shenanigans. You can stay in the oh, fight yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Uh, we are. <laughs> oh, go check out Kiralee's channel, by the way. I will link that down below. But we are going to go have some shenanigans. Uh, we are going to head to Joanne Fabrics mm -hmm. because there is no Joanne Fabrics in Australia. No, we only have Spotlight. Yeah. Which, you know, I'm trying to convince her to come to Australia. Someday. And then I will introduce you to Spotlight. And yes. that is Witch's Spotlight. Yes, and then we'll do like the opposite video. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to Joanne's and I think we might go have some Walmart shenanigans too because... What is it? Not in Australia. What is a trip to America without <laughs> going to Walmart, right? It's like the American... I, I don't know where I was going with that. Market, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we might even go to the mall. We'll yeah. Let's see what we get I've up to today. I've never been to an American mall. Oh. So, you know, we've got shopping centers, but yes. we don't have the mall. You can pretend that you're like a tween from 20 plus years oh ago. Oh my God. That yeah, sounds I don't think so tweens good. hang out at the mall anymore, but <laughs> let's go and have some fun at the mall. <laughs> hey, Curly, how excited are you right now? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I'm gonna let you decide because I am literally so overwhelmed. We are moment. literally both vlogging each other at I the know, same it's great. time. It's right like, now. like hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's start maybe well we're at the fabric. How about we start with fabric? Sounds good. And then we'll go from there. Excellent. In Australian. In Joanne's. We've spotted a wild Australian. Did you find something good? Yaya Han fabrics. So we don't get a lot of Yaya Han cosplay fabrics in Australia. So you just met her, didn't you? I did. And <laughs> like it was on my bucket list and she's just a very lovely human being. Aww. So it was, it was, it's lovely to see her brand and her work. So very happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Kiralee, what did you get? So, I got a fairy godmother randomly um, because I'm giving that to uh, my friend Diana because she was my fairy godmother in Hall Map. So I was like, I need to find her something fairy godmother. <laughs> and then, now I have a 50% off discount for Kiralee <laughs> But Terry got four yards of this Pokemon fabric, which is very, <laughs> very cute. And I got four yards of the avocado Christmas because I just think that's hilarious. It's my type of humor and I'm excited to make next year's Christmas dress. That is pretty amazing that you walked into Joanne's for the first time ever and you walked out with only eight yards of fabric. <laughs> is that is that not a I mean, much it's not very much considering you've never been here before and you won't probably get to no, come here. Probably not, but yeah. that's okay. It's all right, I'm going to the LA Fabric District. I have to like, you know, make sure that I don't overspend. It's true. So You're yeah, gonna spend true. way more there. Way much. More. <laughs> and yes, Terry, you are in this because you know it, it's sideways. Yeah. So, how did you like Joanne's? It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go to Walmart? Walmart. Let's go. The Australians are going to Walmart. Any thoughts on Walmart so far? It's it big. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like what we would call a big W, but then also with supermarket attached. Very, very big, very overwhelming. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so much stuff. You can see why people spend a lot of time here. How much did you get? We got two bags full. <laughs> we have branded full of goodies. <laughs> uh, and most of it is candy because <laughs> Terry went down the aisle and just was like, mine. Mine. 
Okay, Kiralee and I are about to go into our, or her, second <laughs> Joann's of the trip. And this, this is, is my, your, like, cool This is my local Joann's that I go in all the time. Yeah. Uh, this one, <laughs> right there. And now we'll see if we get even more stuff. Yay! And I just want to point out that right now you can really see the height difference between Rebecca and myself. Like, <laughs> see, this is how I see the world. I see the world from there. Did you just find an ornament you need? I found an ornament that every cosplayer needs. It's true. Hot glue gun. And it's 70% off. There you go. Good times. I think I'll put it back. Okay. Because I am a purist and I believe that when you have fabric, you should sew it, not hot glue it. What? It's a thing, Rebecca. It's Wait, a thing. it's almost like we're in a fabric store or something. I know. What even is that? I don't see a sewing machine. <laughs> Those sold out because everyone else feels the same way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Have you found anything else, Kiralee? No, I have not. Nothing today? Nothing today. All shopped out yesterday? Alas, yes. <laughs> but no, it's all good. I have had an absolute blast and I have definitely formulated my thoughts about Joanne's. So <laughs> it's been good. So here we are in Rebecca's kitchen, Lady Rebecca Fashion's kitchen, and she's making us pumpkin pie. What I find funny <laughs> is that I've got all the snacks you brought me over here. <laughs> And then you've got all the snacks yep. you bought over So, so like, we, we bought, like, this is roughly the snacks that I bought, Rebecca. Um, <laughs> except cookies, cookies yeah, were from her mom, um, <laughs> and I'm just going to take those right now. Um, but then, like, we went to Walmart yesterday, and then we just bought all of, like, these treats. But look so, at this. We're making pumpkin pie mm -hmm. because we are doing all sorts of traditional Thanksgiving foods. <laughs> For New Year's. For, yes, for, for the Aussies uh, for New Year's, just so they can try Thanksgiving foods that are like so American. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm doing pumpkin pie here. Uh, I've already mixed my pumpkin and my eggs. And this is, of course, Libby's canned pumpkin, because that is how you make pumpkin pie. <laughs> uh, and I'm adding my sugar, because who needs to mix dry ingredients separately? It's agreed, agreed. Silly, silly, silly. But this is the thing that really cracked me up, is the fact that you can just get a pre-made, uh, you know, pie crust. Yeah, I splurged for the Keebler. You, like, you like for it's Keebler. just, it's just, it's interesting to me, because that's not something that we have in Australia, at least that I'm aware of in little old Perth. But yes, yeah, so we will come back. Well now, question yeah, go on, go on. For, for you and for anyone else watching from wherever they are watching. <laughs> um, is uh, pumpkin spice a big of a thing in like Australia or elsewhere <laughs> as it is in the US? So I can answer that right now for me. Let me just get in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> There we are. So oh to add God, to your... the lighting, it's just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so to add to your question, Lady Rebecca Fashion, <laughs> um, pumpkin spice is not a thing at all. Like, I don't. Not at all at all. I have never tried pumpkin spice. So I'm making pumpkin spice like <laughs> the old school way. I mean, you can literally buy a spice that is called pumpkin spice, um, but it's basically a mixture of like all of these. So we have. Ginger, nutmeg, allspice, which has other stuff in it, uh, and cinnamon. And that way you just like mix these all. And the recipe tells me amounts. <laughs> so I do the amounts and then I add extra, of course. So you need extra pumpkin pie spice. But no, like, I, I, apparently it's a big thing here. Like, oh my god, it is such a big thing. And I'm just like, I've, I, I have no idea what it like, is. You go like. to the grocery store and you can get pumpkin spice everything. <laughs> like pumpkin spice cookies, pumpkin spice coffee, pumpkin spice. Oh, I still have. Pumpkin spice creamer. Oh my goodness. Um, what? Pumpkin spice pancakes. Pum oh, pumpkin spice. Hang on, I love this. Pum this one is actually pumpkin pancake and waffle mix <laughs> from Trader Joe's. Um, oh, 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 wait. Yeah, that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. <laughs> pumpkin spice Betty Crocker cookies. How much pumpkin um, spice stuff do you have? It's like, delicious. I didn't, and I didn't think it was most a pumpkin thing. spice you can only buy in the fall. Yeah. Um, so like this, for example, this to me, it's the same spices, just doesn't have the pumpkin, but like spice cake, you can buy and make all year. <laughs> I just, I'm like, I'm like, but, but pumpkin doesn't have spice. Like, no, that's the thing. So it, pumpkin spice are these spices that you put in a pumpkin pie. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's what it is. Americans, man. Americans. The way that I do it generally is like, I'll put in what it says in the recipe. Yep. 
as far as spices go. And then add some love. And then, yeah, mix it all around and then decide what needs more. The thing about a traditional Thanksgiving dinner, which of course, probably if most of you are viewers in America, yeah, yeah, then you know, is uh, it is traditionally based from things in cans. <laughs> So, we have here, we are going to be making cre green bean casserole, our cream of mushroom soup, and our cans of green beans. <laughs> we already made the pie, you saw that earlier, that was it came out of a can as well, and we are also going to be making, of course, the traditional candy DMs with marshmallows, of course, which are also candy DMs. So, we're going to start with the green bean casserole, with the soup, and all of those beans. We'll and check in beans. later. Good time. All right, so here we have Thanksgiving dinner uh, for New Year's Eve. Do you want me to explain? And what yeah, are? could you explain what okay. we've got here? So we've so got turkey. Turkey. Right here. Yep. Um, this is the candied yams. <laughs> yes, that is marshmallow. Um, over here we've got uh, the traditional, what I think is the traditional bread of sweet Hawaiian rolls, um, <laughs> gravy. Mm -hmm. um, stuffing in here. Stuffing. Yep. Uh huh. Which looks like it's very nice. We've got some um, fruccato, which fr fruscato, fruscato. Yeah, maybe not traditional Thanksgiving, but you know, <laughs> bubbles for New Year's. Yeah, um, and Martinelli's because which that is, is that is less traditional every holiday, yeah. every non-alcoholic holiday. Like you do miss um, Martinelli's with two types of cranberry. <laughs> this one is shaped like cranberries. Yep. Can. Can. <laughs> shaped like can. Shaped like can. Yep. Um, green bean here. casserole. Oh, let me get a close-up. Close right so yes. Um, and then we've got honey butter and cornbread, which cornbread is really traditional cornbread? Thanksgiving. Yeah. <gasps> I cannot wait to yeah. try cornbread because I've heard so much about cornbread and I've never oh, tried it before, so delicious. I'm excited. I made it traditional yes. southern style. Ooh, traditional wait, southern. does that mean spicy? No, it means not sweet. Wait, not sweet? All right. Yeah. You put the honey and, the honey and here is Emily. AKA the sucky seamstress. The sucky seamstress. On YouTube and Instagram. Yep, exactly right. <laughs> so, hi, Rachel. Hello. My girl. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got little Lion Man. Hey, Lion. I lion. Who's that? Somewhere. This is Gabe. Hey, Gabe. And Kelsey. I think might have gone to the. She's, she's <laughs> gone to Lou. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll annoy her with the camera in her face later. All right, let's eat. <laughs> Okay, so tonight is the last night that Kiralee is here, unfortunately. It has been so absolutely wonderful having her and also her husband Terry here. The only problem is that it's been so wonderful that I've been forgetting to film. <laughs> we both have. Um, so today I literally forgot my camera at home we both and did. I realized partway through our day that my camera was at home. But today we went into downtown Seattle and I took Kiralee to the Ballard Locks mm. and drove her around uh, my old neighborhood, Magnolia. And then we went, uh, we were going to go to the Space Needle, mm. but it turned out to be very cloudy. So then we went over to Pike Place Market and then we decided instead of doing the Space Needle to get a view of the Space Needle, we went up into the Columbia Tower for the first time ever. I've never done that before, which is nine, yeah, it was really tall. 900 feet tall. So super, super tall. We're on the 73rd floor. Yes. Amazing view mm. of literally everything. Like Everything of Seattle. We watched the sunset. We saw part of the Seahawks game. Mm. Like, oh my gosh. And we got to see this recently. And we got to see the fireworks as well. The fireworks. Like, yeah. You are. You are also, also forgetting that we had... Clam chowder. Clam chowder. In a brown bread bowl. So Kiralee has never had clam nope. chowder before. And so obviously we had to go have it in a bread bowl. Mm -hmm. Our first choice location was unfortunately closed. But I think you still really liked it. I did. I so, did. Yeah. It, was, it was so filling that I could not finish it. Yeah. It was hard. It's been a lot of lot of eating. Oh, these so last much days. eating. Oh my gosh. Speaking of eating, yesterday for New Year's Eve, we had Thanksgiving. I forget if I filmed any of that footage, but I might have inserted some of Kiralee's here. Yeah, maybe. So, uh, Otherwise, yeah. check out my video when it comes yes, out. Yes, Kiralee's video hey. is going to be coming out soon. And I, again, am going to be linking her channel below. So make sure that you check out her channel and go subscribe so that you can be notified when, and hit the bell icon, so you can hey. be notified when that video comes out. Um, but yeah, so we Thanksgiving dinner yesterday so that you know some Aussies could have all of the weird Thanksgiving foods mm -hmm. that we have here in the United States because they're weird. Um, they, they were they they were very different to what we would ever cook. Yeah. Um, but a and few they all of came them from cans. <laughs> they 
they all came from cans. Cans and boxes. But like, there's a few of them that I'm like, yeah, we could make those at home. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, so totally. maybe maybe we'll start a Thanksgiving in Perth and just yeah. be like pseudo American, you know? Definitely. Yeah. But overall, unfortunately, today is going to be the last day of all of our shenanigans that we had because they are off to San Francisco tomorrow mm -hmm. on their wonderful trip around the U.S. Yep. And it has been just an absolute joy having you guys here. Thank you so much for having us. Oh my gosh, though, seriously. Like, I wish you could stay longer. <laughs> I wish too. I wish we could go to Canada. To Canada, I know. And anytime you want to come back, of course, yeah. just let me know. You are welcome here anytime. Done. <laughs> but it has been a joy. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of our little weird shenanigans like <laughs> Joanne's and oh I never showed you the showed the Walmart haul to everyone and now you guys have eaten half the things you bought. <laughs> they got it's so true. much stuff at Walmart. So many treats. I mean we've got some of it literally on the couch. We do. Yeah. 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 What was, what's eaten. been your favorite treat that you mm. guys got? Terry you go first. Uh, Terry's off camera. Milk duds. Milk duds. Uh, milk duds. Yeah, um Oh gosh, probably the animal crackers. Yeah, pink and, the pink and white circus animal crackers, of course. Yeah, I'm yeah. liking those, they're good they're fun. very good, yeah. Yeah. Good to know. Go Speaking ahead. of which, mm -hmm. do you I, do you have anything that I've brought that you're like either keen to eat or have oh. already eaten and you're like- no, I haven't no, no. eaten much of it yet, though those gummies are delicious. The koala oh, did you gummies. have the koala gummies? Yeah, I haven't finished the bag yet, but I've been eating, uh, I've probably gotten through half of it already. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to like kind of space things out because Kiralee was so nice to bring all the way from Australia and then to Orlando and then to New York, <laughs> uh, a bunch of treats for me for, that are all Australian treats. And um, she's she sent me some, a whole bunch, couple, was that a couple of years ago now? Yeah, it was probably about, 2021? Mm, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Um, and has now brought more, so that's been a delight. I brought, I brought her a kilo of Jaffa's because you like Jaffa's Jaffa's apparently. are really good. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad to get that out of my suitcase. So I've got now And space. now you can have space for fabric. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Priorities. Yeah. So I think that's going to be probably about it for this video with our shenanigans. I may have inserted some still pictures in here because we have had a marvelous time together, even if I have been forgetting my camera. But I've been forgetting to take photos as well. Yeah. I've just been like, just we're enjoying, having so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> just enjoying each other's company and like going and doing fun things, driving yeah. around random places in the yeah. Puget Sound area. Yeah, I mean, heck, you fell in love with Black Diamond. I, I think, love a little. Black Diamond. Yeah, we if went you to ever come to the Seattle area or mm -hmm. whatever this Seattle. Yeah, uh, yeah, great, south great, of Seattle. South of yeah. Seattle. Uh, Black Diamond. It's a really sweet little country town. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really nice. And Wonderful bakery. bakery. Good. Yeah. 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 And the and the uh, the antique shop it was pretty cute. Too. Was very cute with some very interesting Americana <laughs> and also Australian. Yes, we found weird kangaroos in an antique we store in Black Weird Island. kangaroos, very yeah. weird kangaroos. So that is unfortunately going to be it from me and Carrie Lee mm -hmm. today. But her video will be coming out soon, so do make sure that you go check out her channel. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up icon. And if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please go ahead and click subscribe and the little bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. I do post videos here on YouTube twice a week with my sewing vlogs on Tuesday and other random, well, normally costuming and sewing content, yeah. but sometimes just shenanigans on Saturday. But I post every day over on my Instagram, so please go follow me on Instagram. That's at Lady Rebecca Fashions. And if you'd like to help support all of the work that I do on this channel or to help get me to Perth to visit Carrie Lee. Exactly. I was, gonna say, uh, I was like, <laughs> join her Patreon or this coffee as well yes. so that that way or we can, can get Or you can leave me a super thanks right here on YouTube. Hey, oh, nice. Do you not do that? No, no, yeah. No, I'm going to get that. Oh but gosh. yeah, we're gonna get into Perth, all right? So <laughs> join, join it, and uh, let's get into Perth so we can do more of these. Yes, yeah, cultural exchange. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to give a special shout out to my Edwardian level patrons, Sharon, Mirage, and Laura. Thank you all so, so much for joining us today. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you very soon in my next video. Happy Bye. sewing! Hello, water. Hello, water. Oh, you want the umbrella. <laughs> He's like, what do you, what have you got? What have you got for me? Looks like food. Can I have <laughs> it? I Can I please have your umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> Can I please have your umbrella? 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 Can I please
<laughs> I don't think you can get it through the glass. 